Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Need for Speed Most Wanted. That was a very strange intro. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with my intros, but I was like, oh wait, let me stop the fan because that probably makes sound and we don't want that. Let's see, today I'm going to do all the race wins. We need nine, I've got three, so let's get on it. Let's just do all the sprints. So, um, I don't know what I'm going to talk about today. I, I don't know what I'm going to talk about today. Um, this, since I use this as a talk show type of thing, because I don't know, there isn't there isn't that much to talk about, you know, while playing the game. So yeah, we, we got a viper. That viper doesn't look too bad. If we remove the wing, it will be a lot better. Let me just uh, hit that perfect start. That was not a perfect start. But yeah, so yesterday uploaded start of season three, SLRR episode one. Um, it, you know, it, it, it was re received well. That's great. You know, I enjoy that. People seem to be enjoying the first episode. Um, it was a bit like commentary was a bit off by me. I don't know why. Because there was pressure. There was a lot of pressure on me, on myself. You know, I put it on myself. Realistically, it, you know, there is just general pressure to make it good since it's uh, a lot of people seem to like it. A lot of se people seem to want to watch SLR on Let's Play, especially in English because there are not a lot of, there are just not that many in English. So, oh my god, I'm at, fuck, I'm at 3, key 3, so this is fucked, but let's just uh, forget about that for now. Future me problem. Okay, that was stupid. But, yeah, you know, so I was a bit worried how well am I, um, you know, how am I going to fail the other thing? Uh, I kind of did. Okay, that was fuck. That was a fuck. Oh my god, barrel roll. Oh, god. Okay. Alright, mum. That was nice. Let's go with the NOS. And... Yeah, but it seems to be well received. Uh, now, you know, next episode I will probably try my... Uh, my commentary to be better. Try, try to do a better job at commentarying, that's even a word, but you know, you never know, you know, you never know, that's a saying of the year, man, oh my god, yeah, I, I don't know what to talk about that much, uh, shit, mm. so I've, I've been watching this teen drama s series uh, that I watched when I was like 16, which was at the prime of my uh, teen angst at my, you know, I, I was when I was the, the saddest, the most, you know, <laughs> the most teeny, I guess. What, 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 there is there a word? Uh, I was 16 then, probably 15, 16. That's when, that's when all the what do you call them? What do you call them? The teen angst. There was a specific word. I forgot about it. That's that's something. That's not new. <laughs> So, you know, I watched that. I, I used to listen to, like, sad sad dubstep, you know, that that's how fucking, you know, that's how, that's how depressed, you know, quote-unquote, I was. Because that, that was, like I said, at the peak of my teen angst. Um, you know, I was, <laughs> I was sick. I was 15, 16, dude. I was kind of stupid back then. Kind of, as a relative, you know. But it's called Skins. It's a, you know, it's an English thing. It's, uh, you know... Like I was saying, when I was 16, when I watched this for the first time, it was like the shit. I was like, oh my god, all these kids with their like edgy problems and, and drugs and partying and, and shit like that. I was like, oh, I want to do that shit, man. I want to be that kid. I want to be that kid. Now, I'm watching it, like now, as a normal human being, not really, but as a better human being than when I was 15, uh, I'm like, these kids are like stupid as fuck, like they're mentally disturbed, <laughs> like they, they, they're not all there, they do stupid things, half of the, the, the things that happen to them could be avoided quite easily, very very easily, and I'm like watching it, and I'm getting depressed, like shit, some of the, because there, there are a few heavy things that are happening to that, in, in that thing, you know, a few heavy parts, come on, nice. Where, uh, you know, that's that's some real life shit, not the imaginary, overly, <laughs> overly fucking edgy teen, teens uh, problem. And, you know, watching that, I'm, I'm getting depressed and shit. <laughs> I'm not too happy whenever an episode ends. 
unlike when I was 15, when I was like, oh yeah, fucking edgy shit, dude. But yeah, that's what I've been watching, and uh, it's it's you know it's, it's not it's not great. It's, it makes me feel like shit because they're stupid and things happen around them that like they're not exactly their fault. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening? Please leave me the fuck alone, you absolute fucking retards! What the fuck are they doing? Oh my god. But yeah, yeah, you know if we if. if if you're 16 and, and have like teen angst and shit, you probably wouldn't admit it. I didn't. I, I, no, it's not even not admit it. I didn't know I was a fucking. <laughs> I didn't know I, hormones. <laughs> that, that's what I'm looking for. I didn't know my fucking hormones were out there. You know, <laughs> fuck. I didn't know. I was like shit. You know. Oh. Okay. This is getting serious, by the way. This is genuinely getting serious. <laughs> I don't. Okay. This is getting problematic and serious. Because we're on level 4, heat 4. But, yeah. You know, it was, it was fun watching that when I was a kid, listening to, like, sad dubstep. I don't listen to, like, slow music. Like, I don't want to say weak music, but, like, not heavy hitting. My, I, I listen to very hard music. Like, I listen to uh, drum and bass. Ton, tons of drum and bass. Hard music. Rock. Uh, hard, hard rock. Metal. Uh, electro house, like fucking hard music. I don't know, you know. Mainly, of course, I have a few chill songs, but very, very few. So listening to sad dubstep was something strange for me. But yeah, generally speaking, it's an uh, it's an interesting show. It's uh, they're they're a bit stupid if you ask me, but that's uh, that's how it is. That's how it is, you know. I don't know what I'm talking about now at this point. Uh, waiting for the cooldown. Interesting. Oh lord. Yeah, but you can see the gold. The gold Porsche. With the bad anti-analyzing. Anti not anti-analyzing. Shit. So. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Shit. I don't know what to talk about now. Fuck. I'm at a loss of words. A copper is looking at me like, come on man, yeah, I, I see you. Fuck that guy. Also, what else? My phone. Oh, that, that's my phone now. That that was my phone. My phone. Um. My phone started overheating. Uh, last night I went to bed and it kind of just fucking restarted itself. Oh. You get a better fuck you, kid. I don't even know what the fuck is your problem. But yeah, um, my phone just like restarted itself, and then it just like started overheating. Like it's not overheating, but it's heating up a lot, too much, to be honest. I'm sitting there, and it's like fire in my hands. Not fun. Definitely not fun. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that one. You know, it's a, it's a, it's an okay phone. It's a cool phone. You know, better than my uh old phones <laughs> obviously you don't you don't necessarily you don't downgrade with phones that was a really nice start that was a very nice start oh man I love this Porsche so what is I'm watching since um, phone is overheating I'm alone at, at home for this is my second day it's only for two days so it's not really that big you know I'm 18 and shit but you know I've never lived alone um, I've I've lived, you know, I've been I haven't lived, but I've been alone for a few, like, like a week at most. That guy just spanned that car. Well, that's nice. And um, you know, supplies are running low. I'm resorting to making sandwiches. Sandwiches, not you know, to, <laughs> as a daily meal. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. My mum, my mum's going to go on a vacation, like late August after I come back from my vacation. Um, for a week or so, a bit over a week. So I don't know. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do, do there. I don't. Uh, I don't live with my dad. We don't live with my dad. And it's not some kind of fucking like. It's, it's not like. <laughs> it's not like a teen drama, dude. Uh, it's it's quite okay, you know. But we. <laughs> they're they're not just they're not, uh, they're just not together. But 
I kind of never really cared about that one. I remember when they, when they broke up, when it's shit guys, uh, sad story time now, get ready. I remember when they broke up. I kind of cared for like 10 minutes, not 10 minutes, for like one day, but I, I really got over it really fast. I was young, probably like 7 or 8. <laughs> I just, it didn't affect me that much, not going to lie. Um, you know, it's their life. Uh, they're, they're kind of young. I mean, kind of young, relatively speaking. They're like 40 now. But I'm 18, so they had me young. I don't know, it's, it's, in my opinion, it's a mistake to have a kid of like fucking 20, dude. I don't know, but... It's your life. Why would you... Obviously, that's... That's, that's my opinion. For some people, life is... Like, it's one of them... You know, they want to have a child. That's what they want. That's what their life is. My life... I don't have a life, you know, at this point. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm literally just doing the same shit every day. Sitting here watching TV. Not TV, I've never... I haven't watched TV since, like, 7th grade. Oh my god, I don't even have a TV in my room. Just a bunch of monitors. Because that's, like, that's hacker, you know. That's, that's the cool... That's the cool kids thing. But... Yeah, I, I forgot what I was talking about. Fuck my life, dude. Like, why am I retarded? Oh, yeah. I don't want kids. I mean, I don't know if I don't want kids. Right now, I don't miss, I don't want kids, but, like, maybe in 10 years. Because you, you don't stay the same person. Fuck me, I've noticed. I was like, I, I, I would, if I see my, like, 14-year-old self, or, like, 16-year-old self, I would, like, beat myself up. Or, like... Because I was stupid, like, obviously. At 14, you can't really blame yourself for being for doing stupid things. But I didn't, didn't necessarily do stupid things. I was just like, I was very socially awkward, very socially awkward. I, I, I don't understand why. Right now, like obviously me, I don't understand why I was so scared of like fucking doing some stupid shit. Nobody, you know, I, ch I changed. So if you're socially awkward, not like. Not socially awkward, like social anxiety. I had social anxiety. I was like fucking scared to do like basic shit. I I swear a lot. I just noticed, but like I don't know. I don't know what I'm. What, what can I say? But like yeah, I I had social anxiety. I I was like every day before I go to school, I was like worried and shit. I got scared. I got like I got sick for a week. Just because of uh, social anxiety, like social anxiety, sickness and shit. I was really, I had really, I, I had problems. I, I didn't address them, I didn't talk with anybody because I, I don't know. No, no real reason. But at one point, like 17, 18, I'm 18 now, so actually we're going to be 19 in 13 days. Oh fuck man, I'm getting old, obviously. Not really that true, but. I'm no longer a uh, a schoolboy. Fuck. But that's besides the point. Um. Yeah, I had anxiety. The way I overcome it, I uh, overcome it. Was that I realized there was no reason to have social anxiety. I see some sometimes. You know, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. I don't want to do that. Oh my god. I need to go. I need to go to a doctor in a few days because there's some some shit happened with my skin. Some fucking things came out. It's 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 not it's not fatal. So it's it it's not like it's not a big deal. I I think um, it's not. I don't. I'm, it's not. I'm not sure if it's even a skin disease per se. I think it's something that just happens. <laughs> just happens sometimes. But yeah, you know. I don't want to go to the doctor. Nobody wants to go to the doctor, you know. Nobody wants to do that shit. But I do it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just not scared anymore. I'm worried, but not scared. That's the difference. That's the key difference. I was scared of what will happen. I'm scared of social interactions. Now I just don't care. I realize that there is no reason to care for some things. That guy was going in the in the fucking opposite direction on the street. That guy was like. Um, driving in England or something. Oh, sorry, dude. Yeah, so that's how I fixed my anxiety. Social anxiety. I just realized there was no point in having social anxiety. Obviously, that's not going to work for most people. Uh, I just fucking, like, did it. That's my, uh, that, that's my advice. Just 
Just forget about it. Just be like, fuck it. I don't want anxiety. Fuck you. And I, well, that was a nice. That was nice. Um. So if you have social anxiety and you're young, by young I mean like a teenager, 16, 14, 15. That's that's when it's real bad. If you're not a stud or some shit, you know, one of those cool kids. One of those cool kids. Um. E I. When you grow older, you just kind of get over it. I'm talking like I'm fucking old, dude. 18. Who the fuck do I think I am? I don't know. I've talked about a lot of talked about a lot of deep shit this episode. I don't know. I shit, dude. Ow. I mean, social anxiety is not a joke. I was a joke. No, that okay. That was pretty. Come on, the car is. Not driving any straight line. Do you think I can catch up to that guy? Ah, oh, fuck. That's what happens when you. Oh my god, that was. Nah, I can't get up. Fuck. Fuck. But yeah. Things happen. And they just, you know, just get over it. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Uh, there isn't much to it. Life. Fuck man, I got depressed now. Shit. Like, oh my god, in a few, not even a few months, less than two months, I need to become a human. Not a human, a, uh, like, a person in society. I don't know, that's, that's anxious now, like, getting a job. Uh, in my culture, it's not my culture. In my country, my culture, what the fuck. In my, uh, in my country, it's not... It's it's not a widespread thing to be a teenager and work. Most most people after they finish school start working. High school that is, and um, I know in you know in different places 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 in the world, different people start start working at different ages. I uh, you know in the U.S. summer jobs are a thing. I've never I've never worked for money. I mean I've worked for money but I've never been like hey I'm, well, can I work here it's always been like hey like dad can I do something for a few bucks it's not no no I've done that like once fuck man I'm entitled to shit I'm a little fuck man I'm actually my dad's going to be funding my last teen summer um, me and my friends are going on a uh, you know on summer vacation to the seaside that's what you do in this country go to the seaside in the summer it's really cool I would like to go to Greece because it's like a bit better it's not that really that doesn't cost that much money money that's that much more money but like we got a sweet deal because one of our guys bully so if you remember him from my old school minecraft days he he knew no he doesn't know people his father and mum know people. They, uh... Okay, that guy just flew past me. So they kind of hooked us up with a very cheap, all-inclusive, like, hotel. Like, I'm talking real cheap. What, 20, 20 euros for... Four meals, three meals a day and free bar. And shit. Like, you know, that's, that's, that's good, if you ask me. Ow. But yeah, I'm, I've never really worked in life. <laughs> I haven't really worked it to anything, like, to get anything that much. Fuck. This is, like, my proudest thing, my YouTube channel. So, yeah, y if you've got a chance, work. Work a bit. I realize this. Fuck. I should have worked a bit. I get it, uh, some kind of ethic, work ethic. No, it's actually, I'm not even that scared about work. I'm more worried about, you know, applying for work. I don't want to work at a fast food joint. I'd work at like fucking a, a supermarket or something, but like, I don't want to work at a fast food joint. Whoa! And school, you know, as, as being a computer science major, I obviously have physics and uh, mathematics, and uh, like low key, low key, I know absolutely. Yeah, thanks, dude. I don't care. I'm, I'm so bad at mathematics. 
and by you know by proxy fucking physics I don't know let's see something is short nine kilo oh, I've done that why did these all why are these all like giant three laps oh my god that's three laps let's do this one this is going to be a long episode very deep episode talking about anxiety and shit I mean it is my need for speed podcast thing so yeah but Oh, we got like a bunch of muscle cars. One Euro muscle. The Mer Mercedes have always been Euro muscles, in my uh, in my opinion. Like the, the way they sound, the V8s, the roar of the v of the AMGs. I'm not even. I'm not talking about like SLSs or SLRs. I'm talking about the. I, I don't know a Mer Mercedes <laughs> actually. I don't. I've never been a fan of Mercedes. We're just a bit. No, I've always been an Audi guy when it comes to uh, Euro cars. And I'll always be an Audi guy in reality. Probably because my dad had an Audi. It was a really nice Audi. It's a Quattro. Uh, it was one spec bef uh, before the S2. It was like S0. <laughs> no, not S0. It was just a, you know, a 90 coupe. Audi 90 coupe. It had like 200 brake horsepower. My dad had made himself a body kit and shit, it, and painted it on my own. I, uh, it, it looked real nice, the Audi. I mean, for the time it was. All right now, I, he 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 made like a vinyl painting thing. He he painted it himself. I would have kept it like black. There is a picture somewhere of it just being black. You know, absolutely everything wheels. The body panels, everything just dark. It, it looks so nice. I would drive it today. But like, he, he did a few green mods and shit. I mean, it still looks good for the time. It especially looked good. Now I really do did love that car. It was a Quattro. You know, 200 brake horsepower. It was fast. Especially by my standard. Um, but it kind of shit itself. AC stopped working. One of the DTT <laughs> power windows stop working the car just went kaboom to be honest anyway and, it, and he sold it for like very cheap maybe 800 euros maybe for 800 euros that's cheap as fuck especially for the car itself but, but it had problems so and he was driving these Ford focuses like uh, from the company there were company focuses but you know you kind of owned them and you just turn them in and get the newer focus. That was the whole deal with those. And now he drives a Lancia. Uh, it's the Delta, but like <laughs> not the Integrale Delta, the HF, the, 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 the Rally Legend, the next one, the a bit fatter one. It's the HPF or HPE, some kind of fucking. It has a turbo. Uh, it has a turbo, but it's not. It's 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 quite cool. It has like. Advanced AC. I don't know what's it, what it's called in English. Advanced AC, where you can actually control how much, uh, what kind of, you know, how hot do you want it to be inside, you know, how hot or cold. Specifically, changing the temperature. Not just uh, blowing cold or blowing hot. That's cool. It's 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 orange. My dad likes to make outrageous looking cars. He's tuned a lot of cars. My dad. Uh, he he swapped. He had a Ford Taurus, I think, or something like that. And uh, he, he engine swapped it with a from a Sierra Cosi engine. No, a Sierra engine with a Cosi gearbox or something along those lines. He just engine swapped it. Like this it, it was like the 90s. <laughs> My dad was <laughs> fucking 18. Then he have uh, you know he he didn't work. I mean he worked. He he fucking worked. But he just engine swapped the car. It was cool. I have. I remember the, the, the Ford. It was like stripped and it sat in front of our house on the street. It's. It was cool. I went into it. There were bees in it one time. There were like a bee. There was a bee's nest there. It was fucked. My dad also. This. I remember this one vividly. It's a Porsche 928, 93. 
one of those pop-up headlights front front engine Porsches we had one of those it was cool it was cool it was a Porsche and my daddy my daddy oh my god I feel my daddy <laughs> my daddy dude <laughs> I've never said daddy I feel so dirty Cause that's why I, I attribute daddy to like porn and shit I don't know daddy fuck me daddy no um, my dad built a, a DTM like very very wide body kit on it and it just sat there like with the wide body kit it's gone I don't even know what happened to it we've had a lot of cars a lot of Audis not a lot of Audis actually two with the original like Quattro Audi the S1 the great legendary Audi just not a Quattro obviously because you know you don't find Quattros everywhere how many races do I need to do fuck man oh my god two more can I even do two more races here how long is this 1731 holy shit that's like 30 25 and just 28 um I don't know let's just do fuck man it's been going actually for very long I'm actually going to cut it here because this has been this is taking quite a while I've got three hundred and thirteen thousand dollars that's a solid amount of money but yeah well thanks for watching this uh, very deep episode about talking about deep shit I don't know very deep but yeah thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next